and we are live. Alright, let's get this. Hey puppy hater one. I'm just gonna say that we are live. Just give me a minute. All right, guys. Let me do this. So yeah, definitely we're not do story mode today. Practice. So before before I start, uh, I, uh, I played online yesterday for about uh, an hour uh, with uh, Free Onel, who actually just won the Brussels Brussels ch ch challenge, which is the road to Evo, and he secured um, a place in the Samurai Showdown Evo tournament. So I played with him for about an hour yesterday. Uh, we had 10 matches. I lost eight of them, but I don't feel bad about it because the guy just won a tournament. Um, uh, however, the online was good. I recorded the entire set, but uh, I'm not allowed to post it until Tuesday. Um, but again, uh, we live in the same country, so that might not be uh you know enough to ease everybody's uh mind on the online all right so we're gonna start right now just tweeted i'm gonna put this one here all right so we're gonna go to training obviously and we'll, so this is what i'm calling the samurai showdown school we're gonna go through most of the, uh so we're gonna go and learn see his setups uh, how to play him etc uh, i just wanted to ask is uh, is everything is everything is fine guys can you guys hear me okay is the stream working okay Ukyo or Charlotte. Let's go with Ukyo for now and we'll go for Charlotte later on. So anyway, yeah, I had some really good sets yesterday. Uh, Free Onel plays uh, Yoshitora and I was, I was surprised, man, how good Yoshitora is. That's why I'm, I want to include him here. I want to learn the guy as well. But uh, yeah, some really nice sets, some really close calls. I'm very proud that I, you know, hold my ground against uh, one of the greatest players. So that gives me confidence that maybe I should, uh, I should try and... Uh, You should, you know, try and uh, and do some uh, some some pro gaming. You never know. Maybe. All right. All right. So Genjiro, his really classic Genjiro. I I, I think is the character I played the most so far. Uh, just because I used to play him in Samurai Showdown 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and whenever he's available. Um, so we're going to go through his normal, then we're going to go through his normals, through his setups, and then uh, just show you a couple things that I learned by doing by playing the game. Uh, so this is his normal slash. If you're close, of course, you know, it becomes more of a, you know, like an elbow. And then... Jump, jump normal is actually jump, uh, yeah. Jump light is actually uh, an elbow. This is down. I don't find myself using these often, really. And this is his medium. 
Again, another blow if you're close to the opponent. This is his... This is his running, running uh, medium, which actually has a wall bounce. Which is very, very, very useful. Wait, you can't. Can you connect it? We'll see. Nope, you can't. Anyway, it's a wall bounce. We'll see if it's useful later on. Oh, this is his low medium. And then finally his heavy slash with crazy amount of damage, of course. And then we'll see some of the setups that we can do. And uh, his, this is his jumping heavy. And he's one of the few characters whose jumping heavy is really easy to land. Uh, uh, let me see some questions here. Load times improved day one patch. Um, they are they have improved compared to the demo. I haven't played the game without having it patched, so I'm not sure. Yeah, to be honest, loading times are still a little bit. I think I think they should they still can be optimized. And hopefully they will. I mean they're not like anything like really bad, but it's you know it's yeah I I, I would like to see faster loading times. Um, so yeah, speaking, well, we're talking about his uh, heavy slash, which is really one of the again few characters where you can easily land it. For example, other characters, we'll, we'll see Shiki later on. For example, it's really difficult to land that you know jump in uh, heavy. So we'll look, we'll look into that. Um, this is his. Uh, uh, this is his down heavy slash. Even if it's it's actually the same, pretty much the same thing when you do low, unless you're close to the, unless you're close, which it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. He's heavy. It really doesn't matter if you if you press him down. It's still the same as standing, whether you're close or f far from the opponent. And this is his dash or running heavy. In terms of special moves. Oh, uh, well, I forgot the kick. Kick is important. So, of course, in Samurai Showdown, you should know this by now. There are two types of low kicks. Either you person just down and kick, and that's just a normal... Think of it as a low kick in Street Fighter. Or, if you do diagonal and kick, diagonal forward and kick, he's, it's actually a sweep. Uh, running, uh, doing a dash and kick. Is actually a sweep as you probably know and a jump jump and kick um, the only time you'll be using these kicks is when you lose your sword because once he loses his sword um, his his you know punches are useless the only thing you have is his kick which can you know just doing it close to the opponent has a three hit combo and we'll see what we can do with that We'll see what we can do with that later on if we can if we can use it uh, in a combo or not. In terms of special moves, you know he has his projectile, which is done by a quarter circle back and a slash. Yoshitora, please. Yes, we have Yoshitora planned for today. So it's Genjiro, Shiki, then Yoshitora. Um, if the opponent is blocking, he has this cool thing which he had. For a while since Samurai Showdown 3 or 4 maybe. Um, if you keep... If you keep pressing uh, the the uh, slash button uh, after the, you know, doing the move for the uh, for his projectile and keeping it pressed and your opponent blocks, uh, the uh, projectile will bounce upward. And depending on which button you do, uh, it will it will either bounce forward uh, in front of the opponent, right in front of, right on top of him, or behind him. Look at that! As you can see, this is the, the this is the low one. I'll do the medium, and then heavy, heavy, heavy goes back. So if your opponent dashes 
right after you know blocking your uh, your projectile he, he actually gets hit and he, he's open to either an isen if you had rage explosion or just his normal uh his dash uh rekas which we're gonna see here in a second so yeah uh so speaking of dash rekas uh he had them since samurai showdown too so this is the this is these one talking about when you have the, those uh, Japanese cards showing up, this is his heavy, and then you follow up with two more. So one, one, two, three. So you can you can you can still block it if you know what you're doing. However, because it's so fast and you have to switch how you're blocking, that's how you trick your opponent. Um, there's also, you know, I've seen, uh, you know, just doing some tests. If, if you're playing against someone who's actually used to playing against Genjuro, there's actually a way to keep you wide open doing the Rekas, which is right after the first one, even if they're hit, he can jump. If the opponents jump, let's see if I can, if I can do it. It's different to difficult to do it with the dummy, but let's try again. Yeah, no. Uh, but anyway, if actually your opponents jump, you're wide open with the second Rekka, so you gotta be careful with that. Uh, other than that, you really, you really can. You know, it's actually, it does a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and. Uh, And it's actually difficult to to you know to block unless you know what you're doing. So let's go back and do. So the only the only one I think. Let me try it. So the only one which is unblockable, the if you hit with the first one, the two other records that are unblockable is doing it with the with the light. With the light slash. As you can see. Uh, however, it, it doesn't travel very far, so you have to be close to your opponent. Let's see if we can do it right after a grab. Nope. Hold on. Yeah. So if you want to make sure you're gonna hit him with the hit your opponent with the three rekas, uh, you can do it with the light attack with light slash. Uh, the other the other uh, super uh, special move, not super, just the other special move he has is of course his dragon partial shoryuken, koyokujin. So the koyokujin, this is the light koyokujin. This is the this is the medium. Which, so light hits one, uh, just one hit, the medium, two, and the heavy, three. And if you have your gauge, power gauge full, he actually does a four, uh, uh, he does a fourth uh, hit. Actually nine hits, sorry. So he does a double, double sure you can, and then... Uh, you know, I uh, finished it with a with a downward uh, slash. Um, would be a bit broken if being able to be used after a grab. Well, we, w w if you're talking about the records, it's possible, but doing it with with the medium, it's actually possible. As you can see here. Uh, well, as a thing in the game. As you can see, you can you can easily do it after a grab again, only with the uh with the light one um and that's the thing with samurai showdown especially this samurai showdown once you get hit you get you get grabbed 
you are really, really hard, you know, wide open. So you want to be very, very, very careful. Um, so yeah, the... So yeah, we said the medium, uh, the uh, heavy. Uh, and then finally, he has his um, backward Shoryuken, which is actually a... Uh, it's an attack that, that actually um, is a grab, as you can see. But if your opponent, uh, if your opponent blocked, you actually get some chip damage because he keeps doing one after the other, as you can see. Uh, not get any chip damage actually. Yeah. Yeah, you do get some chip damage. Not much, but something. Uh, so and he will keep actually flashing until he. Uh, if, if the opponent, you know, releases the block, he gets he gets grabbed. So it doesn't have to be on the first hit, it can be even in the last one. Uh, and then he has a super special move, obviously. Uh, his, um, again, weapon flipping technique. Which you can do right after grab. Again, if, if you've seen my other stream, you'll see that not all characters can do, can, uh, can do a weapon flipping technique. Uh, con a confirmed weapon flipping technique right after a grab so about I would say about right now it's about half the cast can do it half, the other half cannot uh, which we'll see how that how, how it goes in terms of uh, you know tournament play and stuff and see if, how important people or players are gonna look at that um, uh, uh, and he has yes sorry about that he does have another special move the the uh, the uh, DP and kick which is this one Thanks, Ikisama, I forgot that one. Oh, it's pretty good damage, too. So, yeah, going back to the weapon flipping technique. As you can see, it's really uh, once he's grabbed, that said, he's really wide open. Yeah, every time. That works every time, obviously. However, what I noticed, what I noticed, I, uh, at least with Genjiro, I can't confirm with the other characters yet. We'll try that later on. But the opponent, most of the time, he lands right in the same place where his sword is. So if you're playing again with Genjiro against someone and you do the weapon flipping technique, you want to follow that. Look at, you want to follow that with, you want, you want to be careful because he might grab his sword quickly again. Not in this case, only after a grab, I think. So that's that's a way of actually. Um... Nope, it's just random. All right, never mind. Because I had a few matches I had yesterday and the day before. Most of the time, it landed right where the opponent is. So I'm not sure how uh, the you know how the game decides where the sword falls. I'll be interested. Well, I'll do some more tests on this and uh, and update you guys. And finally, he has his super special technique, which of course cannot be comboed into and can only be done uh, after a deflect, which is not only can it be done, can it, it can be safe, I mean, to do it right after a weapon deflect. So let's try that. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the only safe way to do it, really, because you can't you can't do it after a grab, obviously. Obviously. 
obviously you can't do that. So the only time you can do it safely is after 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 a, a weapon deflect. Uh, yeah. So now let's talk a little bit about some of the technique of how to play Genjiro. Um, if you want to play Genjiro, you have to be ready to play very offensively. You can't def defense with Genjiro is not it's, it's not his strong point. You want to be offensive. You want to. You want to, you know, basically rush into your opponent and don't let him think twice. So, of course, you have the... the uh, His Rekkas are really powerful. His his um, uh, his heavy Rekka is actually... Even though it can be blocked if your opponent knows what he's doing, most of the time, most of the time, it's so fast that the opponent doesn't know if he's going to... For the second one, should he block on the right or on the left? So that's that's really something uh, that is really really fast. Uh, it's a really fast attack. Uh, you you can actually uh, try to pressure the opponent with with some projectiles. Reflect, reflect again of the of the projectiles. So if he's dashing backwards, he can get hit with it, or depending on which button you press. Um, what I usually do again is I rely a lot on on the records. And then what I do is his command grab is really, really strong. It's really fast, quite good damage. And again, when the opponent's blocked, it keeps hitting a few times. And most of the time, they don't know when to stop blocking because they want to surprise you with a reversal. And that's when they get hit by the last one. Uh, what's the point of command grabs when throws are also... Uncackable. Well, again, for for Genjiro in this case, his his command grab is quite quite offensive because actually almost he's actually moving with it. Uh, and again, the, the the difference between the two is that if you miss a throw, the recovery is quite large. It takes a long time to recover from that. So if you miss, if you're close to an opponent, and you miss. You're actually and see the difference this is the command grab so fast while the other one look at how long it takes so as you can see the 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 point of the command grabs at least for these for this character for ganjo is that it's a lot faster it's a lot safer um and you know again in some few the few of the matches i had online is when you miss this when you miss a grab Man, you're you're in for you know you're gonna get it. So and uh, you know if you're playing against someone who knows what he's doing, but this one is is kind of okay, you know. How are you? <laughs> Speaking of recovery, not hundred percent, and you know they they they're better. I can see better, but it's still this the, the whole thing takes about a month to be able to see clearly again. So I'm still a bit struggling, a little bit of, bit of. Uh, blurry vision even when I'm doing this and I have my computer here on my side and it's all like you know huge kind of like when you you go visit your grandparents you see old people's computers well you know like uh a one word takes half the screen that's pretty much what I have right now but yeah I'm recovering thanks for asking man thanks a lot um so yeah that's uh that's the command grab and that's why uh you know why they're useful compared to normal grabs uh, so in terms of, of combos, uh, and again, I'm, I'm surprised a little bit at this because Samurai Showdown is not is not known for combos, but a lot of characters have really good, you know, like bread and butter combos, like quick, easy. And most of the time, it starts with a jump jump in uh, medium or jump in uh, heavy. And as I said in the previous stream, jump in heavy is really difficult to to land for each character. So you really want to know your character really well to time it uh, correctly. And again, with I don't know how you know if you're playing with someone. If there's some lag, it will be even more difficult. Uh, so yeah, Genjiro is actually really easy to hit uh, to uh, to land because he's actually doing his. If you can see, his he's actually a little bit you know like uh, the 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 whole slash is inclined down a little bit. So he actually has. It's easy to actually land once after after let's see what we can do with this so 
So let's see. So you can do with a with a with a with a light attack. But let's see if we can hit that medium. Yeah. So you can do medium. But you have to time it. Of course, you can just just go with heavy and then uh, his uh, DP, which which works every time. Well, except this time. <laughs> Can you get kick into Rekka's from jump? Uh, can you get kick into Rekka's from jump B? Uh, we'll see. Well, we'll, 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 we'll try that here in a second. So pretty much the uh, let me let me take the oh, So again if you if you want to combo from your your jump in heavy you want to leave it you know want to time it right so when they leave it kind of like at the last minute last minute last second uh before he actually lands so you can combo into it uh I don't know yet, I never played Sancho games, but when I see this game, it made me realize 2D gaming games evolve around combos, but this game shows that, that don't make a fighting game. Definitely, that's that's the good thing about Samurai Shodan, it's easy to play. It's really easy to play. Um, you know, again, I've, played, I've been playing the series, I've been a fan of the series since the first one, as well as the King of Fighters and, and all the SNK games. And, and one thing about Samurai Shodan, it's easy. It's really easy to pick up. So yeah, let's let's see what we can do with this again. So yeah, that works pretty much all the time. So that we know that we're doing it correctly. So yeah, he's uh it's kinda difficult to do it. You see, that's that's the thing, and I think I'm not sure if this was intentional, but but I, I get this vibe that this was done into not, in, in, intentionally to actually, uh, you know, balance these characters a little bit. Because as I said, and you'll see, for example, with Sheik, it's very difficult to do the heavy, uh, the jump heavy. Uh, but once you do it, you can easily combo uh, into it or from it. With Genjiro, it's easy to do the jump heavy, but it's not, but it's not easy to combo in, from it. Yep. So yeah. Um, again, this is this is actually the easy one. Um, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see if I can combo into a recta. Yeah, we can't. I don't think. Yeah, you can. You have to leave it at the last minute. Uh. There's another one. So, jump heavy, down, uh, light, and then. Uh, DP. 
Okuyo's jump is so floaty. Uh, yes, he is, uh, but that's not uh, pretty much similar to what he was before. Maybe a little bit slower. Uh, Charlotte's jump-ins are super easy. Yes, they are. Yes, that's true. Uh, how Maru's as well. This one... You... There we go. So you really have to leave it at the very, very last second. That's pretty good damage. I mean, looking at, what, 33%? That's pretty good damage. You know, if... And again, as we play the game, as we learn about the timing, you know, when to, you know, hit that button when you're jumping in. Because clearly if you do it from here, you can still do the first hit, but, but your opponent's gonna be blocking. Let's see if we can do it with medium. You can do the first hit, but not the rest. So if you want to do the entire Rekka's... Um, now, how to play Genjiro? So we've seen some of the bread and butter combos that he has. Not many. Uh, however, you want to rely again on the Rekka's. Uh, uh, keep it the button pressed so that it does that, um, you know, reflect and uh, deflect and goes back uh, to him or her. And uh, you want to always surprise your opponent with, with this. His grab is really, really powerful. Not only does it move, it's actually fast, and it has so many hits, and usually, most of the time, people will try, especially if you're cornering them, they will try to actually uh, surprise you with the reversal, and the minute they release that, that, that block, they are immediately, you know, grabbed uh, like that. But yeah, he's, he's a very strong character, very strong, very fast. Uh, I definitely see that there's gonna be a lot of Genjiro's in the at least these first tournaments. Just you know, I'm betting on it. There's gonna be a lot, a lot of Genjiro's. Um, anything, guys, you want me to try? So that's pretty much that's pretty much Genjiro. Uh, again, rely on the Rekas. Don't let your opponent think. Don't don't do something then go back and wait for him to come to you. It's you gotta go fast. If you want a combo, your best bet is. The easiest one is is jump heavy and then uh, DP. That's the easiest one to get. Uh, if you want to be fa more fancy about it, then you can do the jump C and then the light Rekkas. Or jump C, down, uh, light, uh, and then... Uh, yeah. Another method, and again, it's a bit risky, but after a heavy jump, you can follow with the uh, with the uh, with the command grab, and again, it just confuses the opponent with all those you know, like all those hits. Uh, and of course, if you wanna if you wanna do a grab, if you wanna play the grab game, do the command grab. It's a lot safer. It's a lot safer. However, if you're trying to do a, a WFT te technique. Then you know normal grab is your best bet. Uh, something else you can do with the with the uh, after a grab is the medium attack. Obviously not that. Yeah, this is the safest. Or if you want to do the medium. You gotta be fast and then your opponent must not, you know, block the right way. Yeah, so that's Genjiro for you. I, I love the I love the character. I've been mostly, I think all the online matches I had, except a couple, were actually Genjiro. So, really, really powerful. Again, I see him, I see a bright future for him in the uh, esports circuit. Uh, let's leave it at that. Uh, so yeah, that's Genjiro, guys. Uh, I think it covered everything. Anything you want me to try?
let's see some of the questions here. How do you unarm yourself? Yes, I see a lot of time people asking about this. And if I remember correctly, there you go. It's actually down, medium, heavy, and kick. If you're unarmed, his punches are, you know, they suck, dude. They're like really slow. You can, that's why you'll have to rely on. And by the way, once you lose your sword, you can't do the grab with, with uh, the command grab with kick. You, so basically, that's the thing. When you lose your weapon, it depends on your character. Each character has some, you know, for example, Galford or Hanzo, when they lose their weapons, they can still do quite the damage. They can still have access to their uh, projectiles, grabs, etc. But uh, Genjiro, for example, he loses everything. That's it. Once you lose, and you'll see once I upload the online matches I had with Free on L yesterday, you'll see that it's a couple, couple of them I lost my sword and there was nothing I could do. So, yeah. And the thing is, when, when your opponent loses your sword, what you want to do is stand exactly where their sword are and let them come to you. And they won't be able to do much with their kicks and punches, unless they're Galford, uh, Hanzo, uh, let me think, who has crazy projectiles? I, I think those are pretty much it. Or Darley, because Darley has that crazy punch that takes 70%, so she actually um, doesn't lose much by losing the weapon. Is there suicide here? Like, uh, No, there is no suicide. Today, what's the absolute best way to start learning this game from scratch? Um, just play, man. Um, uh, this sick, sick sense. Just, just play and just take it easy. Don't, don't be intimidated. Um, I'll have. I'm thinking of doing some of this. You know what, what, I'm, what I'm calling somewhere. I showdown school. What I'll do, not, not on stream, but I'll actually do. Uh, you know, basics. How to learn the game. How to play the game. Just for for beginners who never played the series. Uh, I'll, I'll try to do that next week. When you put down your sword, can every character do that or just Genjiro? No, everybody can do that. Everyone can, can you know, can uh, drop their swords. It's actually a mechanic. Uh, so I'm not sure why you want to do that uh, unless you're being really cocky, which is not a good thing to do in Samurai Showdown because one hit. Let's Genjiro. Let's do a, go ahead and try to learn Shiki together. And when I mean together, I really mean together because I only tried her a couple times and... She's from the 64 uh, era characters, which I played only a few times again during the streams I did a couple or a few months ago. So let's see what we can do with Shiki. I'm really interested in, 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 in her. Uh, uh, I want to hear some nice music. That'll be Charlotte, guys. I love her stage and I love her background, uh, her theme. You can't perform a sweep without any weapons. Yes, yeah, but but you know when you play against someone who knows that, <laughs> it's not much you can do. You can try. All right, the Hall of Minerva. So yeah, we're trying Shiki here. We're trying to learn Shiki. Let's see what we can uh, come up with. And again, I'm trying to keep these streams. And even the tutorials I'm gonna do a little bit, you know, I'm not gonna be using a lot of, of tech words. And if I use a tech word, I will explain what it is. Cause I see a lot of these tutorials they keep talking about, you know, like things that are really, really difficult for newcomers to understand. Talking about, even saying footsies, you really have to explain it. Uh, you know, talking about negative edge and, and option select and stuff. It's really confusing and, it, and it's really hurting the, the FGC in general. It's, it's, the FGC is seen as this exclusive, you know, small and exclusive community that would make it difficult for newcomers to come. So I'll try to just, you know, not not use a lot of uh, a lot of technical words. Hey man, there are gra grapplers on the roster, like Gaira? Nope, no, no grapplers. I mean, the, the only two grapplers I can think of are Hanzo and, and uh, Galford. They're not really grappler, gra grapplers. All right, Shiki. So... Let's start with her normals. This is her light. Yeah, that painting is amazing. This is low. 
Low light. Stand in light. Dash light. I think it's about oh, 3%. It's not bad. She's really fast. Her jumps are really fast. Just, just tell me this music is not freaking awesome, man. I love this music. Just, man. So that's, uh, yeah, jump in. Let's go back to where we are. Jump in. Um, light. Let's go to medium. Just look at that. Good range. And it takes about almost 8%. And then you'll notice no, this is low, medium. Jumping medium is almost useless because look, she's, it's actually a horizontal slash. So you really have to be really close to the ground to hit with it. Because otherwise you're just going to be waving in the air and then have been face to face with an angry opponent. So you want to be very careful. This is her dash, medium, and then finally her her heavy, where she uses it's two hits, 19% of damage. Her low heavy is a sweep, so it has to... And then this is her jump, her jump heavy. Which is not bad actually. You can you can you can easily actually hit with it. You can also easily miss if you do it if you press the button too fat too early or too late. So you have to have that sweet spot. And this is her that her dash heavy is amazing. Look at that. It's actually pretty useful, about 13% damage. And again, this is all this damage that I'm that I'm mentioning here is when the power gauge is uh, empty and it's full, it's actually more obviously. Alright. Now let's see some of her special moves. So she has this uh, dash in this dash hit, which can be followed. I want to do that correctly. Hold on. Yeah, so you do it again. The Exodus stream. So it's a uh, quarter circle forward and uh, flash. And then you do a second one on hit. So she follows up with that uh, flash kick. As you can see. This is her light one, it's 11%. 12% for the medium. And 13% for the heavy. It's also quite fast. Um, she also has a DP. But it's a little bit too v vertical, so you want to be careful if you're not close enough to your opponent. That's the media. That's the light. Can you try Homer next? Uh, do, 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 not not today. Now today's only these three guys. Well, probably Monday we'll do uh, we'll do Homer. Sure, why not? So yeah, DP, medium. And that's heavy. Uh, she also has a teleport, which is down, down, and any of the slash buttons. So if you do it with the light. Uh, slash she actually goes backwards if you do it with the medium she actually stays in her place if you do it with heavy she actually gets closer to the opponent uh, so we did her yeah and then she has she has this uh, 
um, this grab, uh, command grab, where she actually jumps at your opponent. So you have, you have to know the distance and to choose which button to use. Because if you do, for example, if you do the the light from here, it's actually not close enough. If you do the heavy, it's a bit too much. So you want to time it. Depends in depend on the button pressed. And she actually travels different distance. So you want to know your distance that you want to hit. So for example. It's actually really, you really have to, to, uh, yeah. So if you're close to your opponent, this is your best bet. So yeah, that's the, uh, if you're close to your opponent, then light. And then, as you can see, it's a bit, it's a bit difficult to... Oh, that's, that's a reverse DP. So actually she has two DPs, she has the forward one which is this one and then the reverse one is this one. So this is the light. This is the medium. And this is the heavy. Uh, are you playing on PlayStation 4? Can you, yes. Uh, can you hit during the flip? Uh, this flip? No. No, you can't do anything. You just have to time it. It's really difficult. So again, the, your best bet is if you're really close to the opponent because I'm doing that with medium now and it still hit, it still connects with more damage, of course. Is it not more damage? No. Yeah, the same damage here. But you can also use this uh, if you're cornered as a way to get to get to get away from your opponent. Either either you're gonna get him uh, and, and do a grab, or you're gonna end up behind him, which is good. Can you show all her normals? I actually did that. Uh, I did the uh, the only thing I didn't show was the kick, by the way. So that's the uh, light slash medium. Nope. M medium and heavy and then dash heavy is actually quite important. And then her kick, I completely forgot her kicks. So this is forward kick, she does this. And this is just standing kick. This is low, and this is jump and kick. And then, of course, her sweep, and then a dash kick, which is a sweep. Um, can you show the normals that I just did? What is the max number that you can set a multiplayer match? What do you mean, max number? Like, max number of players in a room? All right, let's go and see her uh, weapon flip and technique as well as a little different. Yes, yeah, she's definitely different. She's more of a uh, having played somewhere I showed on 64 and 64 too just a couple months ago. She's a combination of of the her because uh, as you know those games had that slash and bust version. So she's a combination of those two versions, minus couple moves, or one move actually that she's missing. Forward, yes, it is an NTR, and we can try that here in a second. Hold on. Huh? 
Well, that's not kick, is it? Yep, as you can see, it's definitely an anti air. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely this is an anti air. Uh, this should be also an anti air, by the way. Nope. Looks like an anti air, but it's not. Um, yep, but uh, down, down medium is also an anti air. Uh, what's the input to put down your sword? It's down and heavy, uh, medium heavy and kick. I think he said it was yeah down yeah the both slashes no, uh, medium heavy and kick. Uh, so where were we? Yes, weapon flipping technique. So as usual, weapon flipping technique for some characters about half the cast you can do it right after grab which makes it very very safe so it's almost as a hit confirm kind of thing so hit confirm is mean means you, you do something you do a hit to confirm the next move uh so it's pretty much that why is it not working Cool. That's the good, good thing about it is actually she runs, she actually has quite the range, she comes running at you. <laughs> um, that actually comes down to... Um, <laughs> what kind of a player are you? That's, that's what it comes to. Gotta press the right buttons for that one. So anyway, yeah, so it's uh, it's almost like a full screen. And it's not almost, it's actually a full screen attack. Which is which is pretty cool. You can't, there's not a lot of characters. Uh, probably she's the only one who actually has that. Where it's actually like she comes running at you, it doesn't matter where you are. But again, if you want to play it safe, it's it's after uh, a grab, and of course you have her weapon flipping technique, which actually is quite interesting. It can be done anywhere, and it's and it really has a really uh, fast uh, start up, so you can't really confuse your your opponent. Because most of the, these characters, you know, like it takes a while, the color changes, and then you have to hit the opponent. For her, she doesn't have to be close to you, she doesn't have to be to do it after deflect. If you just, if you, for example, let me, uh... No, hold on, what did I do? Uh, where's her weapon? Let me do a restart. So, so if your opponent is doing spamming you with projectiles or whatever moves, and you are, you know that you can, you can actually time. You can, you can time the super special move with her. You can easily get him. Let's see. Oh, didn't record, did I? All right, so just look at that. There we go. You see how how you can easily get the super special move with Shiki, and that's that can't be said about any other character in Samurai Showdown. Most of them you need to do a deflect, which you can still do here, of course.
That's a just defense. What's happening? Trying to get it after the deflect, but uh, I'm doing the deflect. Uh, oh, okay, I know why. Because I already did it, you can only do it once per match. That's exactly why. The max number of rounds you can set in uh, for multiplayer? I think it's five. Five or seven, I can't remember. Um, I'll check if you if you just drop me a message on, on uh, send me a tweet later on because I can't show the online mode right now. Uh, still under embargo, but I can check later on and let you know, uh, Michael, no problem. Oh, not Michael, sorry, but the Pinball Dream. Yeah, just uh, if you can drop me a tweet, I'll uh, show you. I know there's five, I don't know if there's max rounds, there's five, there's three, five, there's one, three, five. I'm not sure if there's a seven. Anyway, let's go back to where we were. So yeah, you can do it after deflect, but you really don't have to. I mean, she can get it, you know, she actually can hit from any single freaking, you know place in the freaking stage so that's awesome all right so those are her special moves um now let's talk about some combo potential so pretty much like again all the characters you can they all have some sort of jumping heavy and then either heavy special move or heavy medium special move or heavy low light uh special move so let's see if we can do it. Let's just start with this. Yep. So as you can see, you can actually do it pretty good. I didn't finish it. Oh. There we go. What happens if you draw a game? Do you play another round? Uh, Falcon Samurai, I have not had happen to me yet, so I'm not sure. Again, the always the easiest one if your character has a DP, or even if, you know, if the easiest combo is jump in, heavy, and then a special move. As you can see here, either doing that with a DP. Look at that, that's 37% uh, <coughs> with a full power gauge, of course. And you actually can combo into her weapon flipping technique. Just, just jump in um, heavy and then weapon flipping technique and it works every time. Well, not this time because she already blocked it. And she doesn't have to be cornered or anything. So she is, she is quite good. She is quite good. My only problem with her, when I played online yesterday, which was just one match, or the day before, I can't remember, is her DP is a little bit slow in startup and if you want to use it as an anti-air it's a lot of times you get a trade 
and that means you get hit as well or it doesn't especially if you're doing it with the with with heavy as you can see it's a little, a little bit slower than this one so that's the only thing that bothered me but again I didn't didn't know much about her I'm just learning right now So let's try something else. Yeah, I don't want to follow by a DP because as you can see the, the, the hitbox on that DP is quite is quite small, so You can okay, you can do it with medium as well. So jump in, medium, and four hit combo, forty percent, just right there, forty percent gone from your opponents. Let's let's try it with uh, with uh, depleted. See what we can do with it. Oh, true release the weapon. Uh, everybody's asking about this. I'm not sure why, but it's down, medium, heavy, and kick, like this. So how to play Shiki? All right. So we've seen some of the setups. I'm pretty sure we'll discover more as we go along. Uh, but how to play Shiki? To be honest, again, uh, rush down character. Quite fast. The the big advantage is she can hit with her super special move quite easily. All you have to do is wait for your opponent to be doing something. It could be anything, uh, you know, uh, projectile, DP, Rekas, heavy, even a heavy slash. If she just does a heavy slash, you can actually hit. Look, for example. Anyway, you just have to look at your opponent and see, wait for them to do something, and then you have almost a guaranteed 70% or 70% off from their life. So that's a huge thing that she has, and so far I have not seen any other character have this. Uh, the only other character who has an easy super special move is Tam Tam, because it's actually a grab, a jump and grab. So you can actually trick your opponent. When you're close to your opponent, always think about the uh, command grab which can be used either to you know to actually do a command grab or just get the hell out of you know whatever you're cornered uh, uh rely on her dash heavy because it's actually a three hit combo and it's quite fast and good damage as well and of course her her uh, quarter circle forward which won't hit you can do another quarter circle forward and slash which she follows with the with the uh with the flash kick uh be careful with her uh dp it has a slow startup and it doesn't it's it's actually you have to be really close to your opponents otherwise you can easily miss and so so yeah you wanna you wanna be careful if you want to use it as an anti air be careful there's a lot of times like you're gonna get a trade-off so you're gonna get hit as well uh so for for anti air her forward forward kick is actually quite good or or down medium those are really good anti airs low like uh can you combo out of flow into dp yes you can well Maybe you can't. Yes, you can with low. So LK, uh, no, it's too slow. Slow recovery, as you can see. No, but you can you can do with low and uh, low as well as low DP. No. 
Oh. As you can see here. But it has to be it has to be low DP, you can't do it with medium. As you can see, yeah. So it's possible with low DP. Any questions for Shiki before I move on to the final character? Yoshitora Tokugawa. I love this music so much, man. It's just freaking awesome. So yeah, let me know if there is any uh, any questions you guys want to ask. Do Hanzo an earthquake? I will, but not today. Her her uh, LS hit slow or mid? Mid. Oh, we didn't see her uh, universal. Universal overhead. Quite fast. Alright. So, let's go to Yoshitora, who I do not play with. I do not play Yoshitora. I did not play him in 5 or 5 special. So. Let's give that a shot. You see this little thing here? Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but you can do fire tree quests anywhere in the game, which is awesome. So you can be playing the game, playing training, playing dojo, playing, you know, whatever. Uh, and then request, uh, have a fight request. So you can specify if you want to play... Uh, if you want to play casual or ranked and then you get the fight request which is really great because right now if you if you're a king of fighters player it really sucks when you want to play because you have to go into that room and just keep waiting and waiting forever uh, let's see. can you duck her command grab what can you duck her command grab i mean crouch it uh I'm not sure what you mean. Nabil is the man. Thanks, Frank. Yoshitora, yes. Uh, who else? I want to hear some nice music, guys. So, hmm. Yeah, his. Uh, the reason I'm doing Yoshitora again, just to to explain, it is because I uh, I again I did some some online matches yesterday with Free on L. And he played Yoshitora, and he, he used his Yoshitora to win the tournament today and, and actually secured a uh, place in EVO. But it was brutal, man. Like, a lot of damage, a lot of cool tricks. So I'm going to try to uh, um, to see what I can do with him. So let's do Nakoruru because she has nice music. And we want to hear the nice music. And let's, let's do her stage. Do her stage. Uh, J Rockman, just to 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 be uh, to know exactly what I'm before I want to answer this. So you mean as an oppo as as if she's your opponent, can you duck? You mean and and not be hit by it? Is that what you mean? If that's the case, then I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't tried it. Other than that, can you do it from a grab from from a from a duck? Because so it's the command grab is actually a quarter circle back. Uh, and slash so you already you can do it while ducking yes and do it right after a low uh, low slash it's possible but you won't com combo into it all right Yoshitora so again I'm literally gonna learn this guy now for the first time um, so that's his light slash medium which does a two hit combo if I, if I, yep and his freaking <laughs> yeah, that's not a special move, guys. That's just his heavy slash. Yeah. Okay, so now I understand why I freaking lost yesterday. Even though Freonel is much better. Better, better player than me by miles. But 
Just look at that. Just look at that range, man. That's his heavy slash. And if you're close, it actually hits more. Well, no. I just that that's not a combo. That's just me pressing one freaking button. Just just heavy slash. And I can go. Just look at that. Press the heavy slash and I can just go. drink my water and he's still hidden. Just insane, man. Never, w I, I was not a fan of this guy until yesterday, to be honest. If you a little bit further look at that. Dude. Five freaking hit combos, man. 28% gone. Yeah, anyway. Um, so low. Uh, this is... Uh, low, low. Uh, low uh, LS. Medium. Which can be used as an anti air, I believe. I'll give it a shot. Yep, definitely an anti air. So, low and medium, uh, down and medium is actually pretty good anti air. And she actually hits really far, so. Uh, okay, so what else? Let's see. I'm I'm speechless with this guy. I mean, just this 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 kills me, man. This. Uh, let's do his uh, forward his um, dash moves. So dash. This is dash low, which is pretty useless unless you don't have a sword. This is his dash medium, which is not bad. Good wrench too. This is dash uh, dash heavy, and then you have his kick buttons. His uh, kick buttons. His kick. Again, kicks in some showdowns, except a couple characters. They're pretty useless. Only good for uh, you know if you want to do a sweep. This is a sweep, this is down, kick, and this is his dash kick. Alright, um, what else, what else? Uh, jump in attacks, jump in kick, only use it when you don't have a sword. Jump in... <laughs> jump in LS. Uh, it's it's up. I haven't even touched it. Look, very useless. This is jump in medium and jump in heavy. And jump in heavy, as you can see, it's not that strong compared to his standing heavy. I'm gonna do it again, guys. You just look at that, man. Just look at that. Wow. Now I'm really curious, once you have a full Rage Gauge, how much damage it's gonna do. This is crazy. What dude, dude, 35%. His Heavy has always been like that. I've, I've seen it in the previous games, but I've never, you know, been a victim of it until yesterday. So I've never tasted it until yesterday. And it, and uh, yeah, 35% if you have a freaking, you know, full rage gauge. Wow. Yeah, I like this guy already. All right, so now let's see, uh, let's see some of his moves. And again, I'm gonna use the command list because I'm new to Yoshitora. Pink Blossoms, yeah, I know what that is. He has his DP. Is uh, do, 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 do. tree peonies, camellia, morning glory, moonflowers, a lot of things, man. Butterfly, butter, fluttering blo butterfly blossom. Use after all other special moves hit. Interesting. All right, well, we'll go one by one, really. Um, uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna have to do uh. Do a drop some 
some eye drops here because yeah my eyes get really dry because of the laser thing and they get really blurry so i can barely read what's saying in there but i'm dedicated to somewhere showdown and to you guys make sure i still wanna help everyone you know get into this game much better now uh okay so so this is his um quarter circle forward and slash That was the light version. This is the medium version. So the light hits low, the medium hits horizontal, and this one hits a little bit. Not only a little bit, it, it actually hits high only. So it can only be used as an anti air. Interesting. As you can see here, only as an anti air. Yeah, that's interesting. And then he has his DP. It's actually pretty good because look at the rain. Look at it. Actually, has a he does a step forward and does it. So that's the medium. Just the medium, thirteen percent, fifteen percent on the. Uh, that that was the light. I'm sorry. The medium is fifteen percent and seventy percent on the heavy. It doesn't it doesn't travel a lot upwards but it doesn't need to because he uses that very very freaking long sword uh the roster looks small 16 characters can be seen small the good thing is they're adding those four characters for free if you have the game now oh i mean if you have the game in the first week so you get four more characters which is rimuru and the other ones are rumored to be basara iroha and the brand new character just a rumor for now uh, okay, then he has this thing which I freaking love and it takes forever. This is quarter circle back and uh, light slash. This one is the medium slash. And this one is the heavy version. Yeah, that's 28 combos by the way. If you guys didn't see that, 28 freaking combos, 21% of life gone. If you have a full power gauge, I can only imagine how much damage this is gonna do. Twenty-five percent. Yep. Wow. I wonder how many seasons they'll end up having. Uh, they're, they're planning to have to support this game for a little while, so we're gonna get a lot more characters for sure. How many? I'm not. I'm not really sure. But it depend again. It all depends on how the game is is received. I mean, if 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 it sells well, then you know, uh, they're gonna they're gonna support it. And again, the first season has four characters, and that's because it's only uh, you know the game comes you know in the middle of the year. So next season will probably have more than, than four characters. All right. What else? What else? What else? Uh, let's see. Oh, so the the three three peonies can you can actually keep hitting, huh? Oh. He has a command grab. That's his command grab, which does sixteen percent. It's a command grab, it's, a, it's basically a DP would kick. This guy's good, man. This guy's good. Uh, okay, cool. I'm hopeful for Enja, Suija, and the brothers. Uh, I, I doubt, to be honest, Enja and Suija to be there. I can, I'm pretty sure we'll have these Kazama brothers uh, by next year. Uh, have you heard any more about Mark of the Wolves? No, what I'm what I heard is that it's more of a Fatal Fury sequel with Mark of the Wolves characters in it. But again, just rumored, nothing, nothing confirmed. It's not like I heard it from within SNK, but that's just what the people are saying. So we'll see. Uh, okay, so that's command grab. Uh, let's see. That's the Moonflower. So we did that. We, he has a. Uh, Okay. Any special moves? Hmm. 
That's uh, he has so many special moves. Uh, this is a backward uh, DP with any of the slashes. So I'm not sure what this other thing is. Um, use after all other special moves hit. All right. So uh, you have okay. This is this is very weird. This is the first. Uh, so you basically have to use. You have to hit all. You have to use all the special moves. Once you use all the special moves, this other move gets uh, open to you. So that's insane. Let's go ahead and try all that. So it's uh, okay. So let's see. So we have this. We have this. And he has this. And then he has this. And then finally he has this. Now I did everything. Let's see what happens. No, I haven't done everything, I guess. I'll show you, and I did that. Seventh sword, too. Yeah, I'm, I don't. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not sure what what I didn't do. Do I need to have uh, has to hit the last one? Can miss in five special. Six has to hit the last one. Hmm. This is this is uh. Does everything have to connect for that move to be open? Well, I connected everything, so I'm not sure. You know what? Yeah, let me... I think you're right. I think all of them have to... Let's just remove the guard. So... And then we start from scratch. Also, you have to do his move. Flip it. It's every move so you can release the seven sword. So... This... This. This. And then. This. And then this. Oh, you're right. I did not do the chorus. You're right. This one, I did not do this one. This other special move that he has, which you can do while jumping. So it's a quarter circle forward. This is the light version. Medium. Okay, let's see now. Holy crap. Did you guys see that? And it. What the hell? You can't keep doing one. What the shit? You can't actually keep doing it, like just spamming it. It's not once. Yeah, I'm not sure. Dude! What the hell? Do you guys, you guys see that? And look at the damage. All right. All right. All right. Um, uh, wow. Shiremi. Shiremi. 
That's 50% 50, 50 with an empty uh, power gauge. Now, let me try. Seventy freaking percent, guys. Seventy. Seventy, dude. Seventy-three percent. Dude, I'm not sure how that's gonna work competitively. <laughs> but, so all you have to do is make sure to hit your opponent with all the super special moves, and then. Shit, man, that's a lot. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I need, I need to drink some water, man. <laughs> man, I don't smoke, but I feel like I, I want to smoke now. Crap. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I want to do it one more time. Let's see what what's the chip damage on that thing is. Oh, you can actually uh you can actually uh you can even hit with this thing. Hold on. No. Uh, did you guys see that? You, that's actually 99.5% damage. That's 99.5 damage. If you actually do it close to the opponent with a full, with a full uh, rage meter. Yeah. No, dude. No way. Sh shit, man. Wow. Dude. Let's, uh... Let's, let's go back to normal. And let's uh, empty this. I have to... I have to... Hold on. Yeah, I understand. You, you're right. Uh, it res it resets the next round, so it's per round. Yes, that's true. And I'm pretty sure if you're playing high level players, yeah, I, I agree. But it's still, I mean, I'm not saying it's broken. I mean, it's clearly not. I mean, it, they, they, he had it before. Just that it's a lot of damage. If you're playing against someone who doesn't know, you're gonna make them hate Samurai Showdown. I want to see now with the uh, with the. Uh, So with my, you see that with my with my power gauge empty, I did it 85%. So that's that's a lot, man. Anyway, let's uh, yeah, that was that. Sorry, I, I you know kept talking about this a lot, but I'm, I was really really surprised at the damage. Uh, either that, or you just fight in Nako. Yeah, Nako takes more damage. I heard right. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll we'll try. I'm not gonna do that now. Let's uh, let's go ahead and try his uh, weapon flipping technique. That's where we stopped because we were only in his special moves. So weapon flipping technique uh, hits. Uh, it's like a sweep, and you can uh, you can actually do it after a grab. And it it hits every time after a grab. Uh, do characters have like a defense ratio or something? I'm not. I'm not sure at this point. We don't. We don't know yet. Uh, it's something we're gonna have to try and, and, and you know test uh, as we go along. So that's the weapon flipping technique, uh, and then he has his uh, obviously the uh, super special move. Which does a little bit more than other characters, not by much, I think. Yeah, 73, I think most characters are on 70, 71. 
obviously, obviously, you can't, uh, Obviously, you can't do it just like that. You can't combo into it. And... However, he actually runs to you, which is the good thing. Kind of like, uh, it's... He runs... He rushes towards you and, and to, to get you with a super special move. Uh, however, unlike, it's still not as easy as Shiki, which, you know, you can actually, uh, easily ha land it on an opponent who's trying to, you know, do a projectile or any move. Because the super special moves in general can be blocked just by just normal light attack. Which we're gonna try now. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh crap, I forgot that I had to do it. I already did it. See? You see that? So you can actually, uh... Uh, in, in this case, I hit her because she actually just, you know, she was not doing the, the punch. However, um, you can easily get, um, man, damage. You can easily get blocked and lose your super special move. Uh, now let's see some of the combos potentials. So, uh, if you do a jump, uh, jump heavy, you can you can combo into the weapon flipping technique. Yep, you can do it every time. Other combos is. Uh, Jump heavy and then a DP. And you can hit with a heavy DP. Or you can do this, which is because his jump heavy can do two. If you do it early enough, it actually does two hits. And then you can follow. Oh. Actually, three hits. And then you can... You can do a DP, or you can do. Nope. You can do a quarter circle forward. You can do a quarter circle forward, and that's that's 40 40 percent if you have a full uh, rate gauge. Can you combo from standing MS? Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Yes, you can. You actually can. You can even combo into this. That's that's interesting, isn't it? No. No, you can't. That was just a recall cancel. You can't. You, I'm. I'm sorry. I mean, I was talking about the weapon co combo and into weapon flipping technique.
So yeah, you can definitely combo into a light DP. Or medium DP. Or even heavy DP. Nope. Or you can do that. It works with the light, the light version. But yeah, I think that the trick now with the, with the Yoshitora is your is your is you try. I mean, if you're playing against someone who you can actually, uh, someone who's you know uh, below your your level or someone who doesn't know what he's doing, he doesn't know what Yoshitora has. You should try to get access to that seven sword or that secret attack because that's an instant win for you. You could keep spam it one time after the other. There's nothing they can do unless they're shiki and they can maybe get you with that super special move. That's it. Um, it's really difficult to do anything against that because it actually takes the whole freaking, uh, you know, uh, height of the screen. You can't jump over it or anything like that. So let's see some of the other combos that we can do with Yoshitori before calling it a day. Yeah, you can. Sorry, I, was, I said you can't before, but you can combo into. You can combo into the uh, WFT after uh, standing MS. Which uh, gives me an idea. Let's see if we can if we can do a grab, medium, and then WFT. Nope. There you go. So grab into MS into weapon flipping technique. What's the recovery on the seven sword? No, you can't. I try. Yeah, I had it. I had this happen to me yesterday. There's nothing you can do if, if the opponent does not miss. If they keep doing seven sword one after the other, there's absolutely nothing you can do. Really, nothing. That's it. You just, you just, you know, you're, you're dead. Uh, I tried running. I tried jumping. There's no way you can jump. I tried doing projectiles. I was playing Genjiro. I tried doing his rekas. I had it happen to me, and again, you guys will see the set once I upload it on, uh, once I have the okay to upload it, which is Tuesday morning. Uh, there's nothing you can do, really. So yeah, let's go back to this. So yeah. Grab, standing MS, and then weapon flipping technique. Pretty good. This guy has... has this really really good it's really good um and once again once you reach your seven sword that's it you know there's, no, there's nothing they can do to you so i'm really interested interested to see how this is gonna play in tournaments and how it's gonna play uh you know if if people are gonna be playing yoshitora or not we already have you know this again the uh Brus brussels challenge road to evo we already have a tournament uh, and the winner uh, was using Yoshitora, which is, you know, which shows that this guy, this this character is strong, obviously. So yeah, we'll be seeing Yoshitora. We'll be seeing Genjiro, um, not Kururo, for example. I'm not sure we're gonna see her in tournaments. She seems a little bit weak, weaker than before. Um, maybe someone will come up with some tech that we don't know about yet. But we'll we'll keep following, uh, and we'll make sure to. To test whatever other people find out. I mean, that's the age of the internet, right? We can 
we can help each other out. That's what we're doing here. And again, I want to thank you guys because you know you, you guys are helping me learn this while I'm helping you learn it. So it's uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anything you guys want me to test with this guy before calling it a day? It's uh, yeah, definitely. So we we've seen Genjiro, we've seen Shiki, we've seen Yoshitora. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, you can you can leave a comment now or once the stream is available uh, for you guys to watch, uh, to rewatch. Uh, but yeah, um, next the uh, next one we'll see. You can uh, maybe we can do a vote. You can guys let me know which which other three characters we can do tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow now tomorrow I won't be able to do a stream because I have to work on the video review of the game, which will be online on Monday. So the next stream is gonna be Monday. Um, so yeah, let me know which characters you want me to do in the second episode of the Samurai Showdown School. Now, I'm gonna call it quick, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope this was uh, something that you guys uh, enjoyed. I hope that I helped you learn a little bit about the game. Uh, try the Seven Sword thing on Earthquake. Sure, why not? Let's do this before I call it quick. Let's do this, man. Alright, so this I'm using the um, TE2 Street Fighter 5. However, I changed the PCB to the uh, Brooks Universal PS4. Uh, which is great. It's much faster. It's much better. The only downside is you lose the uh, you lose the touchpad. You can't use the touchpad, unfortunately, for now. All right. Did I do? Why am I doing this? No, it's not the right. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So 90% damage. 90% <laughs> Hold on. No no. Why am I doing it? I'm getting I think I'm getting fired. So yeah, 90% damage. And what if I uh what if I let me let me try to remove the power gauge? Let me do the see how much damage is gonna do. So it's still all right. Let's see now. Yeah, 53% only in, uh, I guess, Earthquake. Or well, 76% if you hit, if you're doing it from far. Seventy-six percent. Wow. All right, guys. My eyes are really tired. I, I can barely see crap now. So, <laughs> um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, 
yeah, I'll let you know uh, on Twitter. Um, please make sure to follow me on Twitter if you have not done so. At NeoGeo now, I will leave a I will uh, post on YouTube as well on, on Twitter once the next stream. Uh, I should have the video review of Samurai Showdown up on Monday morning U.S. time. And yeah, and once once this week goes by and we you know we're, we leave the the release behind us, then I'll get back to work on the fourth episode of the History of Samurai Show that Showdown, which took a while. I'm hoping to have it before the game. Unfortunately, that's not happening. Um, yeah. All right. Well, thanks guys for joining in, and see you next time.